हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर फाइन नाउ चिल्ड्रन हैव यू अंडरस्टूड चैप्टर वन ओ फाइन यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट नाउ आई विल स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर टू दैट इज होल नंबर्स चैप्टर टू होल नंबर्स नेचुरल नंबर्स When we begin to count the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, as on, come naturally. Hence, these are called natural numbers. The first or smallest natural number is one. There are infinitely many natural numbers. Now, what is whole numbers? If we add zero in the collection of natural numbers, we get a new collection of numbers called whole numbers. Thus, the natural numbers along with the number zero form the collection of whole numbers. So we can say that zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, as on, are whole numbers. Following are some properties of whole numbers. The number zero is the smallest and the first whole number. Second point: all natural numbers are whole numbers, but all whole numbers. are not natural numbers third point there is no last or greatest whole number fourth point adding one to a whole number gives us its successor that is after numbers and subtracting one from a whole number gives us its predecessor that is before numbers in your previous classes you have learned to perform all the basic operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division on numbers you also know how to apply them to problems now Let us try them on a number nine. Before we proceed, let us find out what is a number line. Now, number line. Draw a line. Mark a point on it. Label it zero. Now, see children. You can see down. I've shown you. Mark a second point to the right of zero and. label it 1 the distance between this points labeled as 0 and 1 is called unit distance on this line mark a point to the right of 1 and at unit distance from 1 and label it 2 in this way go on labeling points at unit distances as 3 4 5 as on on the line this is a number line for the whole numbers you can see children down i have marked 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 you can continue this is we call as number line with the help of this we can do different operations that is addition subtraction multiplication now addition on the number line addition of whole numbers can be shown on the number line now we will show addition of 3 and 4 now first you have to draw the number line Now start from three. Since we add four, 
to this number so we make four jumps to the right from 3 to 4 then 4 to 5 5 to 6 and 6 to 7 the tip of the last arrow in the fourth jump is at 7 so we can say the sum of 3 and 4 is 7 that is 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 now children you have done addition on the number line now we will do subtraction on the number line we will subtract 7 minus 5 again you have to draw the number line from starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now start from 7 since 5 is been subtracted so move towards left with one jump of one unit you have to go backward make five such jumps we reach the point 2 isn't it children can you see when you move five jumps towards left you will reach to the point 2 so we get 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 2 now multiplication on the number line multiply 4 multiply 3 now first draw the number line that is starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 we start from 0 and move 3 units at a time to the right make such four moves you can see children i have shown you down you will reach 12 so 4 multiply 3 is equal to 12 now we will solve exercise 2.1 question 1 write the next three natural numbers after 10999 so you have to write next three natural numbers so 10999 plus 1 that is going to be 11000 then 11000 plus 1 that is 11001 11001 plus 1 11002 so three natural numbers we will get 11000 11001 11002 now question number 5 write the successor of a 24 40701 now successor means after numbers so successor of 24,40,701 is you have to add plus 1 so you will get 24,40,702 hope you have understood the topics and solve exercise 2.1 we will discuss properties of whole number in next session thank you have a nice day